living in a world that is gone in ecological insane. Living in a world go totally mad. A world where money make right and logic have no power. In a world that should totally go insane. It's worldly. In a world where businesses can be called legally persons, but animals living sentient creatures, what one central nervous system and a personality uniquely their own, being inanimate objects like TVs, cell phones, and computer games, iPads, mobile phones, couches, houses, and that kind of things. So what? Go totally insane. Explain me. How can one in other mixed objects, one thing like a business of more viral than animals, how have nothing harmed anybody ever in the whole life? How can one business have rights when animals, living creatures with a life, with emotions, that can suffer, can feel pain? Where we share this world with that have lived here on this planet for centuries before even our species I would have awakened. How can we ask for things? How can we give things on businesses? How can we give them legal and personally? personality? When they've been just things. So that they can abuse their powers. Because that's what businesses want. Businesses don't give about morals in the business world. Money Trump morals. The main reason for business is to make money. Businesses being there not to um, make anything better. Businesses being there to make money, make profit. And according to the laws of the earth, the laws of uh, Nature, the loss of species diversity, def dependent, interdependent on other species, the loss of uh, another loss. You have to give, and then you can get. But it is impossible to not break this loss and uh, get richer, because if you been make pro if you profit. You will have uh, mixed some others, and with others, I can mean not only humans, but I mean also the animals that live on the habitat that's been there, their lands, the rainforest, the uh, forests, the trees, any place, everywhere, the other earthlings, you take them can also make profit out of them. The uh, essence of capitalism is to turn nature into commodities and turn commodities into capital. Turn the whole green earth in nothing more than that broad bridge. With luxury items for, for the view and toxic literally tools for the uh, masses. Wherein one desperate, disimmoralized humanity is holding 
captivity with drugs, with armed force, and with dog. We're in one glittery mansion. Look out of the streets. And where the rich get only rich. Capitalism is the foolish idea. The astounding a foolish idea that the most wickedest of men do the most wickedest of things for the greatest good of anybody. This ecological insanity on the last, on the least. It seems to me. In the last couple of years, because the world's human population of the Chinese and the Indians want to eat more like the West, want to live more like the West, want to be just as destructive as the West, want to take the violent barbaric traditions over from the West. It's a world we live in. This is a world that destroy anything around us. You can see this whole world like kind of um, ship. We being the passengers and all the animals being the crew. And if you destroy too much of the crew, the ship will crash or go to die, go to sink to the bottom. And the whole uh, ecosystem being destroyed. Anything is lost. We have to learn to live in the law. With the laws of species diversity, the, sp the laws of the World Charter for Nature, the laws of uh, interdependence on interdependent on other species. We have to live in harmony with the Earth, his ecosystem. We don't be lost from anything. We don't live on one magical island and our actions don't... We don't live on a magical island where our actions don't affect the world around us. Humans have created our own fantasy land called Anthropocentrism or the Nazi Nalistis. The human Nazi Nalism, wherein anything is justifiable if not being a human to do to it. This kind of delusion is destructive for any life on this whole planet. It means very toxic. Any uh, here, tons of um, food around something like 90, uh, something like 65% uh, of all the food sources on the world we feed to livestock. Around something like 30% uh, of all the uh, fish being food also to livestock, according to some statistics. That means all bycatch, fish that are not being uh, for humans. Also, there can also be endangered animal species like uh, turtles and dolphins. Some dolphins actually being also very endangered. And a lot of other species. They're being catch with uh, long hang liners, Com extremely long uh, nets that being put between areas and take any fish, any plant, anything with them. In the last uh, year, last uh, something like 50 years, we have uh, made this whole ecosystem of the sea completely this. We completely destroying it. Around something like uh, ninety percent of all the uh, diversity, eighty percent or yeah, uh, eighty to ninety percent of all the diversity in the sea been disappeared because of uh, commercial fishing and other uh, sources uh, of fishing. The fish industry actually and the meat industry that pollutes the seas. What this the end time even uh, fish farms that, that puts on also a lot of antibiotics in the sea uh, where there are healthy fish farms and 
that uh, make also the, the fish that live there natural, not in the fish farms, um, resistant for many, uh, and actually the worms and the bacteria and, uh, that live there also immune for uh, many diseases. Humans. That you've been truly intelligent creatures. I say you this. Humans, you don't have to eat fish products. Many other plant, pro many plant products have uh, also um, APA. For example, um, Xeon seeds and uh, fix, fix seeds. And uh, also um, bon bonnets and a lot of other plant products as well. Bananas have also small amount of um, <sighs> omega three, and also um, meat eaters have to eat more omega three because um, omega three also. Uh, Make your blood. That's one of the things that the omega do actually. That cause that your blood become thinner, and that it can uh, grow, uh, grow uh, faster. Omega three, omega three is also uh, find in uh, seaweed, and that's the reason that some fish have omega threes in their uh, body because they eat. Fish that uh, have um, eat uh, omegas don't mean so gullible to uh, slick uh, marketing propaganda from the meat, dairy, and egg industry and the fish industries. That means just PRs, social um, um, relationship uh, charlatans. So I like to call them. There are Talk nice and talk you try to yes that's what actually the task of uh, any good um, marketeer be they are try to uh, let you fall in sleep let you sleep by the madman's lullaby by the slave. Madman's lullaby. Slave. Madman's lullaby. Sweeps and sour. Sweet and terrifying. Like a madman's lullaby. That being the marketing of the um, meat dairy and industries. How so desperately try to convince you that you need animal products to survive. I say maybe some things that you find pretty controversial, but it don't mean that not be true. All true of the past three stages. The one which are you? First. It'd be mad and ridicule. Because people always make fun of things that they don't understand. Spectacular. If it be kind to somebody else. About the whole history. Slave masters will also make fun that uh, slaves want to get their rights. Women rights activists being also mocked by uh, men. Just like we gays. Just like uh, meat eaters do by uh, vegans. I will come up for the rights of uh, animals. The pattern is identical. Animals don't want to be your slaves. Let them alone. All animal species being simple disenfranchised groups in search of the one thing any living being demands. In contrary also with the misinformation from the meat, dairy and egg industry, there is also no doubt that fish can feel a lot of emotions, from pain to fear, and anything in between. The lies are deep. The propaganda is everywhere. 
the propaganda from the military industry. Go to McDonald's. Uh, also, the, all the McDonald's uh, propaganda. And the from Burger King. Oh, with our madman's lullaby. Brainwash anybody to eat and let believe that be natural to and healthy. And saying to eat the dismembered corpses of murdered animals. Murder. Or slaughter. Execution. Which kind of use mission you want to use? In essence, it's been all the same. Taking the life of some other being without her or his permission. And we don't need it. I mean, I was 12 when I was free to become vegan. And then uh, I have, um, may have to make most of my own preparations for my food. But I've been happy to what I've done that because I don't can live with the uh, idea that I caused intentional harm to innocent living beings when it's not to be necessary. What you want. But I believe in uh, that in the end justice will win. Meat, dairy, and egg eating people will not win this battle. Just like rapists and sexists and racists and homophobic people don't want to win this battle. Sadly. So it may be your no. I think you know, like you know it. The true of take many generations long time for the fig. It's so sadly. To have take uh, something like four hundred years to eight to end slavery in the West. Now another hundred years for women to get their rights. In the most countries, gays get their rights now. In the West, with rights also a lot of countries where women don't have rights, where uh, gays have no rights, where uh, people that being different than the majority have no rights. Around the whole history. Only small groups of enlightened folks have always to convince the majority why their actions are being unjust. Understand you? How much years will it cost now before animals get um, more okay, rights? Since the uh, Great Buddha of um, Pythagoras also have uh, give compassion to our planetary companions. Since his inception, animal rights activists have always used pacifism as the main course of their uh, action. Sadly, Pacifism will not destroy any evil, because if that can, then uh, will be happening a long time before this all. And most likely, when slavery disappeared, animal slavery will dest also be destroyed. Because they understand that if we not destroy the cancer by its root, the cancer grow back. If you hold a little bit of the cancer in stand, the cancer grow back. You destroy the whole cancer to save it and not go back. I think a little bit about that. Don't answer me. Last moment. Direct. Use empathy. If you been the victim, things look a lot different from when you win the victimized. The victim's mindset is just like this. 
You don't count because you be stupid. You don't count because you don't look like me. You don't count because you uh, being black. You don't count because you being white. You don't count because you being a woman. You don't count because you being hate. You being not hetero. You don't count because you uh, have uh, fur. You don't count because you uh, be a cow. You don't count because you being a dog. You don't count because you being Jewish. You don't count because etc. So no matter if the victims being cows, pigs, turkeys, they're all equal suffering because of the victimizer's mindset. The mindset of the of the sad madman's insane lullaby. It's time to watch things from the other perception. It's time to watch anything from the perception of the victims instead of the position of the victimizer. Because if you not being the victim, you can pretty easily so far claim to mark your victims, label them stupid and dirty, label them displaceable and despicable. But when you being the victim, when you being the victim, things look a lot different from that angle. Veganism is not a choice. Veganism is a moral imperative to the earth and all of his inhabitants. Since nobody can stop one, uh, also, since nobody can stop one massacre of the, like the Harvard genocide, and anybody only play lip service to all the injustice of the world, the least you can do is become vegan. And a post discrimination. Four times on the day. Show the world how peaceful and compassionful you be by your food choices. And save the life of billions and billions of innocent beings. It costs the least amount of harm possible on this planet. And it's always been vegan. Because your food choices don't affect only you. It also affects billions and billions of uh, animal species that have been died for the food of the animals that you murder. You've been responsible for all that. You've been also responsible for it at any two seconds on human child star from starvation. Because you steal their food. Around something like uh, 65 to 80 percent of all the uh, plant products being fed to the um, livestock, from uh, beans to soy to corn, etc. Standard that we feed it directly to humans. Because even if you not care about animals, and you say that you claim to give more about humans. Then even you have to stop with consuming the dismembered corpses of murdered animals. Stop playing lip service. Stop playing political games. One of the most biggest problems of this world, of humanity societies, is that anybody likes to play stupid games. Sorry, for my hard words. But somebody have to say it. Changing the words don't change the condition. Calling something different don't change the condition. Don't be one stupid puppet master. A step in the first one century. The animals don't want to be harmed, and uh, not eating meat is not more difficult than not not a accident, not a exact, not a express stepping on the uh, on ants. We're burning them with one uh, club. 
is that if you look to um, an optimal phase, then what you on eye and not burn them. It's time to look deeper in nature. If you do that, you will understand it all a lot better. But now uh, this video become too long. I hope that you like this kind of videos. If you like it, put it in the description. And I see you next time. Kiyomatar out. When darkness and light become one, the reality splinting away and the truth become visible.